Hello and welcome to the Spelunky Daily Challenge. It's the 26th of August 2013 and my oh my we had a trifecta of terrible hardware and various issues over the last few days, haven't we? Over the last few days, haven't we? Sorry. Um, yeah, with the thing disappearing and then it not disappearing and then yesterday with the whole uh, joystick not working. It was a terrible run yesterday, as you can see. Um, quite far down on the leaderboard. There I am, look. Comparatively far down. Um, it's compared to usual. I was just awful. Awful. Thankfully, as you may be able to tell from the button prompts on the bottom, my joystick's working again. And I don't know why either. I didn't change anything. For no reason at all, today it started, decided to work fine again. As if nothing had happened. Just to troll me. Bloody thing. Anyway, today's daily challenge. Hope you're ready for, uh, well, I hope to get a lot further today, but let's see what the mines, etc., have in store for us. Straight away with that skeleton. Nothing major to worry about though, except that there was a blue gem down there. Hope there's nothing too bad down there. And, you know, as will be, as would be very apt, I'll probably now die very easily, very early on, through something completely. That, but it's something that I should, that, you know, I can't use technical issues as an excuse. Now I've got, now it seems to all be working. Oh, you see, now I'm paranoid. <laughs> no, there we go, that will fine. Grab the rock back, because we smell what it is cooking. Drop that. We go over there. We check what's down here before we drop to our, there we go. Gem. Oh, wow. Wow, that is evil set of spikes. Is there actually anywhere past that? Do I, ha I hope I don't have to go that way. No, I don't. That's good. I was going to say, I don't see how anyone would be able to get through that. Although, yeah, I'm going to say, I bet, they, ooh, I bet the damsel's that way, so... That's probably why it wants you to go that way anyway. Yeah, and an arrow trap twofer. We got a twofer, ladies and gentlemen. We got a twofer. Oh, and a snake. Nope. Go away. Don't care. Don't want a snake. Don't want ya. Oh, there we go. So that's what I, what would have happened if I'd gone this way. I would have got, gone. Sorry, if I'd managed to get through the spikes by you know, bombing them or something, this is where I would have ended up anyway. So, yeah. Clearly not as bad as I thought. Uh, there's our damsel. Can we get to it? Uh, not without using a rope. As much ooh, as I'd like to. I don't really want to risk. Yeah, I don't want to risk that. Oh, she's also in an area that I'm not going to get to without a bomb. Oh, no, I didn't want to drop down there. Oh, well, actually, not too bad to get back up. Right, so we'll use a bomb and free her. There we go. Grab her. Let's blow this joint. It's a well too. <laughs> So hope you're well this weekend, bank holiday, so people have, uh, I assume, a little bit more free time. Hope your weekend's gone well. I was busy writing news for the good folks of official, ooh, nearly got hit by that uh, arrow trap there without realising it, uh, for the good folks at official Xbox magazine on their website. Obviously after Gamescom, quite a lot to write about, so to speak. Probably one of the pecs of uh, of at least modern games journalism is that uh, or gets like games writing. Um, well, I suppose what I'm doing is more journalism as it's a news bench, but um, one of the more sorry, I've completely forgotten what point I was going to make. That was it. One of, one of the benefits of, of um, modern things is that you can get a lot of uh, information from publishers without having actually to go to the event trailers and stuff, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, um, but you know, it's, well, yeah, it's pretty cool, <laughs> um, but it do, you know, I can't say that it, it properly replaces the feel of being there, I, if you get the chance to go to an event, I definitely would recommend it, um, coming up actually is uh, Eurogamer Expo next month, um, sadly I haven't got tickets for that at the moment, and they're nearly all sold out, so if you want to get to that, I would uh, make haste to go to the website and sorry I'm trying to get that I mean, stone down there. Um, 
make haste to get yourself to the website and, and get some tickets if you do plan on going. And there's a shop over there. Is it worth a rope? Yeah, it's, I was gonna say, is it worth a rope to see what's selling? Yeah, because I can buy some more, that's right then. Springy shoes, definitely. Oh, let's get the mystery box, let's see what's in it. I might regret it, but we'll find out when I get a rope pal, because yeah, I've been using a lot of ropes. Ugh, more ropes. <laughs> Oh, uh, I spent £8,000 to get ropes and £2,000 on Well, at least I have more ropes than I need now. Yeah, um, I, I mean, last, the funny thing is, last year I went to the Eurogame Expo and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, had a lot of fun, loads of things to see and do in that, and some of my friends who were living in London, absolutely great, made a fair few contacts. Wow, that was a sneaky cobra there. Um, now, the funny thing is, last year I actually um, won tickets through a competition uh, and that's how, how I ended up going and I won them about three weeks before, two weeks before the actual event itself. So there was a mad scramble to get um, myself accommodation on that side. Which might, yeah, I've got awesome friends and really helpful in that uh, regard. So yeah, I've been kind of joking that uh, if I want to go this year I should hurry up and start entering some competitions because I'm going to be cutting it fine again. <laughs> But um, yeah, th uh, yeah, I would really like to go. At the moment, it doesn't look on oh, all those ropes I bought, and now I'm getting them for free in crates. Sods a lot, or spelunkies a lot rather. Um, and bombs. Yeah, it's yeah, it's nice. It, it it would be really cool to go. Um, financially, I'm not in a great position to do so at the moment though. So you know, but you you, you never know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's my speakers doing their thing again. That I hate. Sorted. Cool. Wasn't very long that time. <laughs> Spelunky wise though, I mean, oh, big uh, giant spider with a little spider next to it. They're playing together. Um, oh, is that power trap gone off? I don't want to risk it. Yeah, I assume it has because it's an arrow there. But yeah, um, oh, okay, so at some point I have to face up to those spiders. Luckily, that was a good bomb placement because boom. Oh, I was over cautious with the key. Still, got it to the chest, which gets us a the eye. And I've got a spare bomb, so I can release the pug, except for the fact that I've got sticky bombs. So we're going to have to be careful about this. It's a good thing I've got extra rope. <laughs> there we go. I would like to sacrifice them and get into the thing, but I've not had any sacrifice tombs yet. Hey, and another pug straight away. Oh, there's lots of gems. I'm gonna wait though because I need more bombs before I start uh, digging them out of the wall, ceiling, floor, all of the above. Sorry, pug, I had to do that. I had to do that. Sorry, sir. Right, okay, so we've got gems aplenty, money aplenty. Lots and lots of money, money, money. Down here. Oh, another crit, another bat, another verse, and another smack. I just tried to make it rhyme, I don't know why. Right, that's another verse. More ropes, blooming heck. Got, now I've got ropes coming out of the wazoo. Wazoo is a. Uh, the only Yorkshire word for. Yowzers. And I should not have whipped the pug. I've probably barely got any life left now. Which could be a problem if I need to use them again. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? If I need to use, if I need to use him as as a weapon, I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry. Okay, so speaking of needing to use him as a weapon, this looks like a good opportunity. Yeah, you see, like this arrow trap. I'm gonna not say it off. Oh no, no, something went wrong. Not as wrong as it could have gone, but it went wrong. <laughs> that did not go according to plan. Jungle, jungle, time to go to the jungle. We're further than yesterday, yes, you see. I, I have been validated, but vilified. One of the words that I can never remember how to pronounce. Okay, so. Yeah, before he starts. 
Yeah, you're trapped in there. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> I want to sacrifice a plant, but they're usually more trouble in the west trying to sacrifice them. And those monkeys are... Oh, I wasn't going to go past the monkeys because monkeys put the pugs there. Get off, get off. Get off, get off. You get off as well. Oh, lovely. More rocks. <laughs> really, really not desperate for rocks right now, am I? Clearly. Might as well use one and then sacrifice this bug. Fingers crossed I get another chance. Oh, sunglasses is completely useless. But thanks for the gift anyway. Ooh, nearly. Nearly dropped right off that. Ooh, I'm gonna have to be careful here, aren't I? Ooh. Ooh. That was, uh, lucky. Oh, okay, this could be dangerous. I have the bombs. I have... I can rebuild it, I have the technology. Well, that wasn't what I was intended to do, but... Kind of wet. Oh, that's just that. Oh, I wanted to get that, but no, oh, it's we're still okay. We're still okay. Relatively speaking, we can still get through this together. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't go that way. I'm glad I bombed through. Because <laughs> that, that could have gone very badly wrong with spikes and a man eating trap. Although, I could do with some more bombs. That would be useful right about now. Do I want to go that way? Yeah, not really. Not with three, three piranhas. Oh, oh, spike shoes. And a gun. Take the spike shoes. I'll take the bomb bag, but I don't. I, I won't take the gun just yet. Because I've got a feeling I could be able to get a free one later. Bombs would be useful though. Definitely take the bombs. I could say, what are you after? Kim, what are you after? Alright, so exit's pretty close. Uh, can I make it? Probably. Oh, watch out. That could have ended badly if I wasn't paying attention. Good thing I was. Still could if I don't pay attention. Right. So yeah, I can probably grab that and get out. Like that, you see? Boom. Bit more money. Can't say no to a bit more money. Means my score goes higher and everything. Oh, rushing water. I hate rushing water levels. Because it means there's a giant piranha on the bottom. And if I don't have a compass, which I don't have a compass, it's very easy to muck this up. There we go. Lovely. That went perfectly, strangely. Right. I have spare bombs. Probably gonna have to use them. Oh. That was... Oh, lovely. <laughs> that actually worked out pretty well. If that's as risky or not. Yeah, it works. Oh! Oh, sorry, it's right. it only spring moves. I've already got the spring moves. Um, also, not seeing the. I mean, the. Thing clicked. The Eye of Horus clicked. But I've not seen the. Secret door yet. Let's just see what's. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be in a position I can get to it easy, is it? No, let's let's forget it. <laughs> let's forget it. I was very tempted. Very tempted. Oh, Restless Dead, you see? This is why I saved those. This is why I didn't bother getting the uh, thing in, the shotgun. Because now I've got the chance to get a free one, and that speaker is really annoying when it does that. I really apologise for this, guys. You probably hear it fluttering in the background. 
I don't know why it does this. It's very freaking annoying. Oh, right there we go. Right. In the meantime, let's get this. I'm not going to get the crystal skull, but it's not worth getting chased around this level by a ghost. Oh, I didn't want to drop her off. Uh oh, uh oh. Right, it's going to be bad. That went better. Again, for things that could have gone better, but that's alright. Okay, now I don't know where she's gone. She's still alive. We're good. We're good. She's still alive. Not so good as having to get past there, but we can do it. We're just careful. So we've got access to the shotgun now. Just need to get her to the exit, which is fairly easily done. Grab this gem while we're down here. Oof. Did not expect that um, skeleton to get out after I'd already been past it once. So, we now have a shotgun in our hands. We only have one bomb. So, when I get the chance, I need to get more bombs. We have a cape now, thanks to that vampire. Oh, second presence. Um, and we have damsels. And we have kits. And we have rocks. Oh god, okay. This could go badly. But I don't intend to pee off the alien if I can help it. I just gotta use. Just gotta make good use of the kit. And preferably not go somewhere where I can't get back up. Like there. <laughs> okay, so there's the exit. You see, if I had the spare bombs, I would probably go get the uh, the manzel. Probably still can. I don't know if I want to dice with that UFO though, so I won't. <laughs> I know I'm being very conservative. Sorry, everybody. Just don't fancy my chances against that. Uh, UFO there. Okay, what have we got here then? Also, yeah, obviously if I have a damsel in my hand, it does make it harder for me to get the shotgun to the exit. Especially on uh, the ice caves. Where losing things is as easy as dropping them into an abyss. Dropping things into an abyss is incredibly easy. I could really do with a compass right about now. Still, we're making it through, we're making good progress. Yeah. Bite me, alien scum! Okay, hey ho, hey ho. It's through the ice caves we go. We're singing songs and dropping bombs. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, you can. Oh. Didn't even spot the alien coming for me then. Ah. That's kind of funny that the uh, exit's right there. <laughs> oh, I should have got that blue emerald. It was right there. Emerald, sapphire. I can't remember which one the blue one is. Emerald's green, right? Yeah, emerald's green. Sapphire's a blue. So I could have gone for that sapphire, is what I was trying to say. Uh oh, oh. Do, no, no. Is that, you see, do I want to go for the mothership? Not without a jetpack. And I'm yet to acquire a jetpack. Okay, so you landing gingerly. That's good. Hey, and spike shoes are coming in handy right about now. I've got to remember I can only glide; I can't fly. So let's try not to be too silly with our decisions from here. Right, so there's a. Oh, I want kind of wanted to. Oh, I can get here easily. In fact, I've got spare ropes. What am I doing? I don't need them. Was a good positioning. Just make sure I deal with this thing. It's going to say, hopefully, that's going to land in the right position. Get that emerald. Uh, emerald, I did it again, sapphire. 
nothing in that. I'm taking that one. Yeah, another sapphire. We'll take it. Head into the exit. Let's go to the temples. Ooh. Three, four completed. Right. Uh, what next? What next? So there's a teleporting guy that I don't really want to dice with if I can help it. Because he teleports. That's why. Uh, I don't want to use my last. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to use. Don't want to use my last bomb to set off the tiki trap. See ya, suckers! <laughs> Later, suckers! I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fearful my hubris is going to catch up to me very, very soon. Ooh, especially on a level like this. Oh. oh, that could not have been closer. That could not have been closer. Jesus. Blooming heck. I have no idea how I survived that. Similarly, I have no idea how I'm surviving this so far. With a sheer blind look. Okay, this could be the end of my luck. Unless that happens. Oh. Oh, again. Get out of it. I thought I was going to get crushed. Oh, I lost a heart. I didn't need to there. Okay, so now we've got to figure out if we're going right or left. I think we're going left, aren't we? Let's lower him. Get out of it. Of course, the exit's near a TK. Kind of expected it by this point. There we go. Number three. We're making good progress, aren't we? We are making very good progress. You probably noticed by me quietening up how nervous I am at this point. So, praise to Carly. And of course, the mummy to get through. I'm going to wait for him to go the other way because I need to shoot him when he's facing away. And I don't want to egg that uh, scorpion even a bit. There we go. That's one dealt with. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh! Dang it. You see, I didn't want to hang around. <laughs> Oof. In case that happened, you see. Still, level 15. Pretty pretty good going. 72 grand. No, 73 grand. Pretty good going. Rank 25. I'm quite pleased with that performance. That's a lot better, isn't it? It looks like we're back on track for the start of the new week. Well, I believe this will be the last yeah, the last week of, of them, because I'd, I'd say of, of me recording them anyway, because... Uh, as I say, I'm probably going to wrap up on the 31st. But before then, we've still got a few more days left of Blunky Daily Challenge action. Hopefully you'll join me for then, and thank you for joining me for today's uh, episode. As ever, you can find me on Twitter, the underscore B. You can check out my website, wtf.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. The address is on screen right now. Or just press the subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube. And they're the one that's just below the video. That's right, you can see it down there. Go on, go on, click it. Click it.
click it so you never know what might happen. Well, you do know what will happen. And you'll subscribe to my channel. Anyway, don't forget also, spelunkydaily.tumblr.com. Massive list of videos. We're up to 102 videos now of daily challenges. That's 102 ways of people dying, falling, getting crushed, splattered, falling off things, doing things silly, and otherwise dying in Spelunky. Give it a look. Go on. You'll probably find so much worth watching if you like watching Spelunky runs, which I assume you do because you're watching this one. Also, feel free to submit your own. Um, I'll most likely be keeping that up after the uh, after I stop the recording of my own, just to see how it goes. But we'll uh, and I'll also intend to do some sort of little rundown of stats of how people have died, etc. Not massively thingy, but just you'll see when you get there. Anyway, thanks once again for joining me, that's enough of me rambling, good luck out there in the caves, and I know I'm kind of now stealing nearly everyone else's sign off because they're using them. I can't help it, it's osmosis, that's how this works. Have a very good day, thank you very much, and see you tomorrow, happy spelunking.